The Christmas truce is about respecting the soldiers that were in World War I and to learn about different things of what the conditions were like and what they did. It's been really good to be honest. Obviously it's always good to, to come away and spend time with the boys and see a different side to them. We went to a museum where we did some like activities. So learning about the kit, what they used. It was very like a surreal moment and because you got to see what the, the conditions and how they were and how hard it was. I think it's a good process from start to finish and I think it's good for kids of all ages when they get to under 12 to sort of experience this. We got the trenches here, so we're walking in the trenches to see people used to walk here, yeah. And just scary. I wasn't like it. I don't like I don't like these type of stuff. Say if I was like an actual soldier, I would try my best. They are knee deep in mud. So those that are to stop you getting muddy ain't gonna work, is it? When they went to the cemeteries, just the sheer number of um, graves really got to them and it was, you know, it has been quite a Sad to see how many names there are on those memorials. It's amazing, just think about how many people died serving their country and other countries. Just look at it. I know one was the biggest memorial in Belgium. There was multiple, multiple gravestones around. If they didn't have a gravestone, there was loads of walls where their names were printed on. And we found out that Brighton players fought in the war as well. Oh, why? I think they will remember the recruitment sergeant that they met. I need a volunteer from this team here to step forward. And dressing up in the gear and going in the trenches. A good shot can fire five well-aimed shots in one minute. It's a one-in-a-lifetime experience for them and most of them won't have ever had that experience before. All of our boys who are, who are here from, um, from the eight clubs attended uh, the Menin Gate, which is a really um, special ceremony that takes place every evening to commemorate the, you know, the service of, the, of those before and our, and our boys took an active part in that. It felt just incredible because like a lot of people here have died for, for us so it just feels amazing to like lay the reef down for them. We're not just playing it for football, we're also playing it for all the people that died for us. I just think we're really excited for tomorrow especially. The people who saved us will be on my mind during the game. We will never forget this day. 25 clubs engaged in a fantastic educational project. We did have three clubs that progressed via their educational project to come for this, this experience and this tournament in Ypres. Brighton you know, produced a wonderful educational project that really did touch so many parts of, of the football club but also the wider community. As Seagulls fly over the Brighton coast, some players now know more than a ghost. We'll never forget our fellow peers in Flanders Fields. The opportunities for our, our young players to engage on the pitch with children from other countries is fantastic. You know, to look at those those playing styles and those those playing challenges. I think the key in the games programme is offering diversity and variation, and the Truce Tournament absolutely does that. You've got opposition from from different parts of Europe who have different styles, different technical challenges. And, and that can only be a, a positive thing for, for the young players' development. We played Club Bruges and we won 1-0. And then we played Everton and we won 2-0. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing to do. You stood up to the test. Every single one of you, for every single minute, you was on the pitch, made a difference, and we got the result. <laughs> Later in the evening, you know, we will all be you know, dining together with those boys from the other countries so to be able to, to relate and understand and get to know our, our Belgian and German and, and French counterparts. It's again a, one, you know, a wonderful, holistic experience. We traded gifts and we met new people, new players. It's quite interesting learning where they come from, if they're in different countries and what they do. We qualified yesterday and to get to the semi-finals we were going to play City. We played City, we lost 3-0. So then we had to play Anderlet in the third place or fourth place playoff. And we beat Anderlet on pens, 1-1 and then one on pens, 5-4. We always knew we could do it, it was just putting it in to action and we did it here today. To get a podium is amazing and get third out of all the countries considering we got here on education is unbelievable. 
It was a good lesson for the kids to show the value of education and that, you know, things might not always work out on a football pitch, but if you persevere and you do good work, you can be rewarded for different things as well. To go overseas uh, with a club is a very privileged moment and very exciting as well. As a club, I think we're really happy with that. That sort of message was able to be relayed to the players. To come out here and to, to do so well is, is fantastic.